You might run into a situation where you need to edit the spot colors in a given job. With Fiery Spot Pro, you've got a quick, easy way to edit the spot colors in a PDF job right from Fiery Command Workstation. You don't even need to open the Fiery Spot Pro application. So let's take a look at how easy it is to use. So there's two ways to access the job-based spot color editing. You can right-click on a job and you can select Edit Spot Colors or you can look in the job summary pane where you see the numbers of spot colors, the number of spot colors in that job used, five in this case. So I can click on this pencil icon to edit those spot colors. And now you see what's basically a mini version of Spot Pro open up. So on the left, you see all the spot colors in this job. You see spot colors that are missing and you see the spot colors that are available. I'll start with the available spot colors. Just clicking on Pantone 229C, I can directly edit a spot color just as I could in the Spot Pro application, either by manually adjusting the values or by using the visual variations. And I could even edit the spot color gradation. So back to this missing spot color. I have a couple of ways that I can resolve this. I can choose to add the missing spot color to the library, either adding it to a new group that I create or to an existing group on the Fiery server. But what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to create a spot color alias. A spot color alias is an easy way to map a named spot color to another color already on the Fiery server. So I just click the alias, Type in the color I want to alias here. This is the color that's missing, and I click Add. I want to alias this to Pantone 465C. So I will search for that in the library, and I will choose Pantone 465C that's in the Pantone Solid Coded V4 library. Click Add Alias, and now once I apply and close, you can see that PMS 465C has been aliased to Pantone 465C. So all of my spot colors are now available. And now there's a couple of things I can do. I can choose to print a swatch book, uh, which would be really helpful if you're printing for a brand owner and you want to show them how their brand colors would look on a specific media. And speaking of a specific media, if I have a spectrophotometer, I can optimize the spot colors in this job for the output profile that's being used. And I can even save this set of spot colors in CXF or ASC, Adobe Swatch Exchange format. This is super helpful if I want to share spot colors with designers that are using Adobe Creative Cloud applications. Job-based spot color editing in Fiery Spot Pro makes it fast to edit the spot colors in a job right in Command Workstation without even needing to open the Spot Pro application. So you can ensure your customer's brand color accuracy and keep your production moving smoothly.